this is Rick Cassell from ExercisesForInjuries.com. In this video, I wanted to go through three effective dumbbell exercises for your rotator cuff. And I'll get Orsi to demonstrate them. The first one ends up being dumbbell circles. So you're lying on the floor or on the mat, knees bent, so your back's in a good position. You've got the dumbbell, you're lifting your arm up so the dumbbell is just straight below your shoulder. And now you're kind of packing in your shoulder so that shoulder joint is in a good position. And then you're going through circles. So circles in one direction and then circles in the other direction. And we're looking at going through like five repetitions to 10 repetitions. Perfect. So that ends up being the first dumbbell exercise that's great for the rotator cuff. Now the second one ends up being a dumbbell mid-back T. So you've got a good stance, you're bending in the knees, you're bending in the hips, your head's in good alignment with the rest of your body, arms are straight, and then you're bringing the arms back. Good. Good, so with this one, we're really, now we're kind of focusing a lot more on that rotator cuff muscle and also those scapular and shoulder blade muscles. And then looking from the side, knees bent, hip, good position, back's in a good position, tightening the abdominal area. You're really setting those shoulders and then going through that movement in the shoulder blade and that shoulder joint and really targeting that rotator cuff and that head's in a good position. Now the third one ends up being the dumbbell clean and, pr and press. So the dumbbell ends up starting on the floor, you're pulling it up onto the shoulder and pressing it up and then reversing that movement. Good, because when you end up moving that arm further away from the body, the more you end up targeting that rotator cuff. And that can be out to the side, that can be overhead. Perfect. And then looking from the side, good foot position, bending in the knee, bending in the hip, back's in a good position. Perfect. And then one tweak that you can end up doing is you can change up that uh, forearm position. So you can end up having, you can end up have, you know, pressing out like this, or it's a little easier on the shoulder if you end up pressing straight up. So you can select which one you want, or you can even alternate between the two. So there you go. There ends up being three effective dumbbell exercises that end up targeting your rotator cuff. So give those exercises a go. This is Rick Cassells from exercisesforinjuries.com. Make sure to swing by exercisesforinjuries.com. Enter in your injury or pain. There's a good chance that I have a video, article, or interview that'll help you overcome your injury or pain. Secondly, make sure to head down below, hit like, and leave me a comment. So this is Rick Cassells from exercisesforinjuries.com saying take care and bye-bye.